Hey, this is Scott Joffrey Bonsai. Through most of my photography starting around 2002, I had done mostly color photography. At times, I would edit photos to put them into monochrome. However, these days I'm trying to specifically make photos in monochrome. Now, the great thing about these mirrorless cameras, the M50, specifically what I used for this video, is that you can switch it to monochrome profile, and then in the viewfinder, you get the full monochrome look. You get a good expectation of what you'll get in the end that allows you to adjust things, frame things with a monochrome perspective. Of course, you wouldn't have gotten that in the film days looking through a color viewfinder. Here's a viewfinder of the M50 with the monochrome profile enabled. If you got that nice monochrome look, it gives you a lot of options and ways to understand how your photo will look after the fact. So I went out with this camera and I specifically tried to take some photos in monochrome. Settings wise, I had the camera in program mode for the beginning. Just very simple, trying to focus on composition and angling photos, trying to look at it in the monochrome perspective with all the tones of the different areas of the photo. That way I could potentially get the best out of that situation. Eventually I did switch to full manual mode, but that was towards the end. And it was interesting because I thought maybe this camera could not do full manual and still give me that monochrome perspective through the viewfinder and everything, but it did, and that was a pleasant surprise. One mistake that I made when taking these photos is that I had the camera set to full raw mode with the output and I did not have JPEGs enabled. So basically that means I just had the raw files and those are in color of course in this situation. So what you can do first you can expose or basically process the photos inside the camera and you'll still get that monochrome look that you were expecting and taking at the time. We're going to go into playback mode. In that case, you want to also go into menu. And you've got some options here. So we're just going to go into raw processing. Select images, or actually select range. That way we can get all of them at once. Okay, we've got it. I'm just going to use the standard default settings. And you can adjust things in the camera if you wanted to. At that point, it's going to go through every single image in the camera and just make those JPEG files. But also, depending on your photo editing software, you can get the monochrome through the RAWs. There's probably some data that Canon puts into the RAW files, and it basically sets that picture profile in the RAW. So when you open it in the proper editor, in this case, it only worked in Canon's specific software that you can download from them and it'll just basically have that setting enabled by default. Let's do a little comparison of the JPEGs from the camera to RAWs that I edited. After my little mishap, I don't think I would want to only take JPEG photos it is nice to have that raw image that I can do a lot more with after the fact. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it on the monochrome photography. I'm definitely going to try to do more of that in the future. Anyways, if you did like this video, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again.